wait and die? This is blasphemy! How could you do this to me? This apprentice, this is all your fault. I'll quit accusing people for your problems. She did it, she did it. What are you talking about this time? Shut up, Wallace. Shut up, you caterpillar lady. You bald asswipe. Why don't you so eat some leaves, you caterpillar lady? Yeah! No. Don't be mad at his pathetic insults. Was she always that ugly when she crawled into her cocoon? I thought butterflies were supposed to be beautiful. I bet Dad sits to this day thinking what went wrong when he created you. Ah! Uh, uh, ah. Wallace, what are you doing? Reorganizing the office, nothing more. You almost killed her. Almost. Look, shut up. How are we going to get the hell out of here? We have until 7.07 and it's 6.20. Way to get out of here on my own. Uh, anyone else wants to come out with me? They can. This is war. Where people choose sides? Let's search Wallace's cubicle for something. Okay. What the hell is Wallace doing? What does it say? Dear enemies of the truth, I, Wallace, and my companion Alan have decided to declare war on you and your monstrosities in the office. You have mingled with my plan for far too long, and we will fight to the death because you are standing in my way. You cannot escape this office. I shall escape and block the door, and you and your slaves will die. Let the bloodshed begin. So, what does it mean? It's a declaration of war. He won't seriously kill us, right? Ah, that's the contributors. What the fuck? It's all your fault. Why? Some impressive report. Richard hates me. What are you talking about? When he was drunk, I tried to take advantage of him. I'm a member of OMAD. Oh, <laughs> office <laughs> members against drunk driving. Wallace, what the hell? Honestly, what the hell? Slapped me and told me I was nothing. I was nothing! Don't you have a kid or something you could bother this about? This behavior has bothered me for too long, Michael. You stole my pride, my drink, and my office. Let's just get the hell out of here. You don't understand. Wallace was in on this. What? Richard told Wallace his plan. He was in on it. He was to stay here and make sure we don't escape. Wallace would keep us from escaping until the demolition crew got here. Then we'd hide in the bathroom and the building fell to pieces. So, this, this doesn't make sense. So what Richard said was true. That Wallace was in. That this was a murder conspiracy and it was a suicide mission? Wallace asked me to help him. 
My plan was to wait until he broke down the door and escape while Wallace pulled off his suicide mission. There's nothing left, Alan. We could all just both escape. There's no point for this bloodshed. Alan, we could just turn Richard in and be heroes. <laughs> you failed to see the light. There must be no survivors. insurance legend. Oh no, my friend. And I'm about to cut short your legacy. 